Uh, you know, you may be asking yourself this question. A lot of people are with the government shutdown now in its third day on Wall Street. Why isn't the effect being felt a little more than it has been? Now, maybe today you're looking at the numbers going, well, sure, it's seeing it today. But we're going to talk about more why, why it hasn't had more of an impact at this point. Dennis Fagan is here from Fagan Associates to discuss this. And all right, so, Dennis, today we're seeing everything drop a bit. But uh, to this point, there hasn't really been as much of an impact as we might have anticipated. Yeah, good afternoon, Jay. I think most investors expect the government to act somewhat dysfunctionally and irrationally, and you heard Warren Buffett say that this morning. So when a day or two goes by, uh, investors expect uh, not a lot of uh, deal-making and, and, uh, and the like. So, uh, But with uh, President Obama turning up the rhetoric in Maryland this, uh, this morning, uh, accusing John Boehner and the Republicans of shutting down the government, I think Wall Street's getting a little bit more concerned. Talk about them getting a little more concerned. Here we are in the third day now, and as, as we go forward into the fourth quarter, seeing this not be resolved, I would imagine, as you said, a lot of people expect the government to, to not operate as well as it should sometimes, so we don't see the immediate impact. Do you think the longer it goes, the more impact it may have? Uh, for sure, without a doubt. In fact, October 17th, I think, is the uh, day we run out of money, money and the, the debt ceiling has to be raised. And if it goes till then, which which it may very well. I think you'll see the market continue to pull back. That said, uh, during the fourth quarter, I think we'll see it as a buying opportunity. I don't expect a 15 or 20 percent correction, but certainly the market can pull back 5 or 10 percent. I think investors will have a little bit of cash in the sideline, wait, wait till that happens, 5 to 10 percent, and then put some money to work because ultimately, uh, as the market uh, pulls back, uh, both the Republicans and Democrats will feel some pressure to, to come to a consensus. Of course, we certainly hope they already feel pressure and aren't going to wait for that sort of a thing to happen. Um, what's your advice, I guess, to people at this point? Is it, is it right now to sit back and wait and, and see what happens, if they can find a common ground or uh, something else? My advice is to hold 10 or 15 percent cash, and when the market pulls back 5 or 10 percent, put half of that cash to work or so. Mm -hmm. We saw it a few years ago with the TARP program, which was initially voted down. The market came down 5 or 10 percent, and then uh, Congress and the administration changed their tune and, and, and approved it. All right. Dennis Fagan from Fagan Associates, thanks again for your help. Thanks, Jer.